So let me hit record. All right. Whoops. What in the heck? What is that all about? Hold on one second. I do not know how that is popping up. Hold on. Okay. Hey, Amberly. Um, I know that you're on the call with us. How the heck is your screen being shared right now? That's blowing my mind. Do you mean to do that? <laughs> okay, sorry guys, this is really random. Um, I've never dealt with that before. So, Amberly, if you could figure out how to, here, let me just see. Okay, sorry, let me figure out the bugs and the kinks in this. Okay, really weird. All right, see, we're not perfect here. Okay. So anyway, I want to welcome you guys tonight to our team call. Um, tonight we are going to be discussing how to use our scripts. So this is entitled, Say What? Um, we're going to teach you guys how to effectively use the scripts to have the most success with your business. Before we get started, though, something that I do want to discuss, which I kind of mentioned in our previous um, call for our Be Your Own Boss group, is on Monday. We are starting. Oh, hey. uh, let me make sure I meet you. <laughs> okay. Um, so on Monday, we are starting a five day coaching at a glance group. So, what a coaching at a glance group is, is we are creating this private Facebook group where, let me see. Okay, so we're creating a five-day private Facebook group that you can plug anybody into who you've ever thought could be a good coach. You could plug in people who are kind of sitting on the fence about the coaching opportunity. You can invite people that have expressed interest. And you can also, of course, create ads which talk about the coaching opportunity. And so any way that you can get people into this, the better. So you want to get people into this group. Whether you are a brand new coach or not, you want eyes in this group. Because essentially what's going to happen is, is throughout these five days, I'm going to be providing information about the coaching opportunity. So I'm going to be providing you <clears throat> with, you know, why it's not a pyramid scheme. I'm going to be sharing our own personal success from coaching. I'm going to be sharing, you know, the nitty gritty, um, what coaching is about, what coaching isn't about. And so I'm going to weigh out all of anybody's excuses and I'm going to be airing that information. So I'm going to be sharing with people what coaching is like so that essentially you guys can get people on your team because yeah, it's cool to get people on board with a challenge package or whatever, but you're going to see the most growth from your business happen when you get people on your team. So that's what we're looking to do. April McDonald, who is a coach on our team, she is a two-star qualifying coach. She's a two-star qualifying coach for a lot of reasons, not only her incredible leadership, but she is also a coach to be, or I'm sorry, she's also a two-star diamond a qualifying coach because of this um, five-day group that she originally hosted. When she hosted this group last week, or I'm sorry, maybe it was two weeks ago, she ended up getting 17 coaches on her team. That 17 coaches throughout her entire downline who ended up signing up. So that wasn't just under April herself. That was underneath her entire team. So how cool would that be if you guys could have at least one person on board because of this? So what I would really encourage you to do, let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. So let me show you on this. So one of the ways that you can post about this would be exactly how I recommend or how Danielle did it. 
So if you see this really awesome graphic, Danielle had somebody on April's team create this graphic. It looks really clean, really professional. And I can imagine either you could recreate this graphic yourself or there's several people on our team who are really good at graphic art who could do this for you as well. Um, and then you can go to Danielle's profile and read what she tossed in with this as well to kind of give you an idea of how you want to be posting about this because at the very latest, I would start posting about this on Wednesday at the very latest. So the very earliest, you could post right now. But at the very latest, start posting about this on Wednesday. And then I would post about this every other day. So let me. So if you have any questions, of course, feel free to post them in the Team Tubby to Tone group where we can all access it. And if you have any questions, I'm sure other people are gonna have similar questions to that. So that just helps to streamline anything. So remember, if you have a question, post it there, and then we can carry on and help one another understand how the five-day coaching at a glance group is going to work. So now to get down to the real nitty gritty on this, I want to discuss using the scripts. Using the scripts is absolutely one of the best things you can do because the power of scripts works like this. For one, you're taking the pressure off from your own shoulders. So instead of feeling like you have to know everything, you need to know the ins and outs of the products, you need to know the ins and outs of the supplements, all of that kind of stuff. In all honesty, people don't really care about all the nitty gritty. All that they wanna know is, is, is this going to work for me? So by using the scripts, you're gonna get down to the heart of will this work for this person? And ultimately, yes this will work for the person that you're looking to help. The other power of using the scripts comes from, you know, success leaves clues. So following word for word, you are using nearly 99% of what I personally say to people. So I follow the scripts myself. And back when I didn't follow the scripts myself, I used to have a really hard time with this. So eventually what I did was I combined Danny Johnson's scripts along with Eric Worre's scripts from GoPro. I combined those together in a fashion that works best for us as a team. So, of course, you know, you can go off from the scripts a little bit, you know, like if you're talking to your best friend, obviously you have a way that you talk to your best friend that you would never talk to a complete stranger like. So, of course, you're going to want to alter it to suit whoever it is that you're talking to and the relationship that you have with that person. But other than that, don't stray from the scripts. Follow them word for word. Um, because I've had success with this, and basically what I'm doing is, is I'm sharing with you guys word for word what I'm saying to people. There's no glitch. There's no gimmick. There's no, there's no circus acts here. You are getting basically what's worked for me. And so if you just use it and you use it enough, you know, if you use a script on two people and both of those people end up saying no, does that mean you're a failure? No. Um, I've done this a lot. I've talked to a lot of people to get to the success level that I've had. So yes, you might use the scripts on two people and that might not get you anywhere, but you're going to be planting a positive seed in those people's minds rather than if you didn't use a script and you kind of just went off the top of your head and tried to piece together anything you're using basically what's going to work if you continue to use it on a consistent basis. The another, or another thing that makes using scripts powerful for your business is it helps with your efficiency and building a system. So you're going to get to a point within your business, if you're not already there, where you're going to have a lot of people who are coming to you for help. Whether you put out a Facebook ad or an Instagram ad, you're gonna get a lot of people who are desiring your help. 
you might be in the position right now where you're like, damn, <laughs> that would be really nice if I could have that. Because maybe right now you're at a point where it feels like you are pursuing people. But I guarantee it that if you continue doing the three vital behaviors, if you continue sharing your own success and your own story, you're going to get to the point where you're going to have people who are pursuing you and asking for your own help. So what you need to have in place is an efficient system that allows you to effectively help people and get people on board without vomiting all over people. <clears throat> so using a script is something that really helps your business because you're just copy pasting and personalizing. So if you're copy pasting and personalizing, what you're doing is, is you're taking all of the heavy, you know, typing back and forth, back and forth. You have something that's streamlined so that if you have 10 people who have messaged you, you could just copy and paste it to the same 10 people and just personalize it as you need to. That's going to help you to become very efficient. It's going to allow you to become free and not the slave over your business. You won't be somebody who is just wasting precious time over your business. Instead, you can take the time that you're saving by using a script and funnel that into something that is much more efficient and worthy of your time. Finally, you know, the power of using scripts comes in the phrase, the more I say, the less I make. That is something that I heard Janelle Summers say at a Super Saturday event. Uh, Janelle Summers is the sister of Shaleen Johnson from Turbo Fire. And essentially, you know, what this means is the more that you say and the more that you speak about yourself throughout this entire process, whether you are just meeting somebody and you're getting to know them for the first time through Facebook Messenger, or maybe you are trying to help them in achieving their goals, the more that you talk about yourself and the more you make yourself interesting instead of focusing on being interested in the person that you're trying to help, the more that person is going to be turned off by you. So if you're looking to turn people on and to get people on board with this opportunity, you need to know that the less you say, essentially, the more you will be making through this. So let me go ahead and let's not only access and figure out where our scripts come from, and I'm sure this is something that many of you probably know, but this is just a little refresher for some of you. So you're going to go to Team Tubby to Toned, and then you're going to click on the file section. Now, let's see here. You're going to go to the ultimate file section. From there, this is telling you everything that you can find within this section. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. And then this, are you serious? Come on. Okay. And this is going to show you, hold on, let me clear this out. All right, so these are all of our files, all of the super important files that you really need to have at your easily disposal. So the first script that we're going to look at is called the ultimate script, which can be found right here. Ultimate script. Yep. All right, so once I click on that, I'm going to click on this little pop out. And now this co coaching script is right here at my disposal. So something that you might want to do is, is if you access this from your cell phone, what you can do is you can click on your little preferences features on your cell phone while you're in um, your web browser looking at this. And you can select to save this to your home screen. That way, that way, it's easy for you to access. You got it. If you are text messaging somebody, it's right there. So that is something that is just going to be super easy for you to do. 
on the first page here of the ultimate script, we have just some notes. If you take a look, if you are new to coaching and you want to know what your coach ID number is, here this is going to tell you exactly how you're going to find your coach ID number. And then let's just say, for instance, you have somebody who's interested in the 21-day fix, and you need to get them the exact link to the 21-day fix, or let's say it's Les Mills Combat or Les Mills Pump. You are going to click on coachingcodes.com, and over there, you will have a plethora of all kinds of links that you can send to people that is a direct link to whatever program, whether it's a challenge package, whether it's a program by itself, whether it's Shakeology, you have a direct code right there that you can send to somebody. All you have to do is enter in your coach ID number at the end of the link to get the credit for it. So, what I really want to show you guys is the questions that I'm asking people when I'm talking to them and trying to assess them and figure out how I can help them. So I use this for nearly every occasion, this ultimate script. If somebody comes to me about the coaching opportunity, or I'm sorry, not the coaching opportunity, I use another script for that. But if somebody comes to me about Shakeology, if somebody comes to me for a free group, if somebody comes to me and they just say, hey, you know, like, I see that you're in the fitness and I need to lose some weight, help me. If somebody comes to me about a challenge package, anything, basically you can file this one under, this is my go-to for any kind of conversation where somebody needs my help, aside from the coaching opportunity. So once somebody does ask for my help, let's just say, for instance, I had somebody reach out to me and they said, hey, you know, I see that you're really big into fitness. I need help. Help me. What I'm going to then say to them is, is I'm going to say, do you mind if I ask you a few questions to ensure that I am helping you in the best way possible? So I'm kind of taking it and I'm kind of just this one right here. This is normally what I would say if somebody asked me for something specific. But here I am just kind of playing off from this. So yeah, do you mind if I ask you a few questions to ensure that I'm helping you in the best way possible? Nobody's going to argue that. They're going to say yes. So then the next questions I go into are, do you currently follow a fitness or nutrition plan? If they say that they have been following a plan, let's just say they said, oh, yeah, I'm uh, doing Herbalife. I'll say, oh, okay, so you're doing Herbalife. Have you reached a plateau? What have your results been like that or been like with using that product? So I'm trying to figure out why it is that they've come to me. Obviously, they're coming to me for a reason if they're already doing something. Um, because they're not getting the results that they're looking for. They feel that they can get more results. So I'm trying to assess and figure out what exactly it is that I can best help them with. And take notice, too, you know, what I used to do when somebody would message me about any of this is, is I would just bombard them like, oh, you would be perfect for the 21-day fix. Let me tell you all about it. And I would just vomit information all over them. And then what I would end up doing is, is I would scare them off because I didn't consult them. I didn't ask them questions. I didn't figure out what their true reason was for reaching out to me. So you need to get to the heart of the matter every time. So don't just, whatever the opportunity might be, don't just slide right into home base. You need to wrap around those bases. You need to be asking those questions because each question is going to get you from one base closer to getting a homer. And so that's essentially what you're looking to do. You're going from base to base here trying to hit a home run. So um, another question that I ask is how would you describe your relationship with food? And then I might throw in, do you ever binge or obsess over food? And I always, 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 always ask them this question, even though it could potentially be a question that might, you know, um, kind of clear out some skeletons out of some people's closets, because this question is going to help you to understand, all right, 
this person needs the 21 day fix or, all right, this person kind of has it down. Maybe they should move on to another program. The 21 day fix is my most recommended program to just about anybody. Unless they are totally like, they're okay with food, they don't have any problems eating, being healthy, anything whatsoever, then I might suggest another program. But nine times out of 10, the people that I'm talking to, they have some kind of food hang up that needs to be addressed before they go on to another program. So if I'm talking to somebody and they kind of bring up any food related issue, I know right off the bat that the 21 day fix is a must for this person. So let's just say then, you know, I'm talking to a person and they're cool on the food. They don't have a problem with eating. They're like, oh, you know, I meal plan all the time. I just need a different program. So then I'll go over some of these questions in the red. So the red questions are questions I don't necessarily ask to every client that I'm talking to. So if somebody is good on food, I might just ask, are you looking to do just strength training, just cardio, or a mix of them? So if somebody says that they're just looking for strength training, my recommendation is either going to be Body Beast or Shaleen Extreme. Those are two strength training programs. If they say that they're looking just for cardio, I'm going to give them either Turbo Fire, Turbo Kick, or maybe Insanity. If they say that they're looking for a mix of them, I'm going to probably suggest P90X3 or maybe even Max 30. I'll ask if they have any physical limitations. How much time do you have to work out? Those are kind of questions that I ask, like I said, if I don't figure out that the 21 Day Fix would be their go-to program. So then, of course, I'll ask them after I get those preliminary questions out of the way, I'll say, so what interests you in doing this group? Or what interests you most in my help? I'm looking for uh, an emotional response. I don't want to just hear that somebody says, oh, you know, I just want to lose weight. I want to find out what their ultimate goal is because I want them to be emotional when they think about this. You know, um, I heard a really awesome national wake-up call by a guy by the name of Vito Lafada. If you can go in the national wake-up call archives, his call was awesome. But in it, he talked about doing what exactly I'm trying to teach you to do right here, right now. He talks about engaging somebody's left and right brain. So when somebody is talking from their left brain, they're like, oh, they're, they're very analytical, they're very logical, they're laying it out, facts, factual. Now, if you engage somebody's right brain, your right brain is your decision-making side. Your right brain is your emotional side. So that goes to show you that facts tell, stories sell. If your right brain is your decision-making side and it's the emotional side, that right brain is going to get turned on by hearing somebody's story. So if I have somebody who delivers an objection to me, I'm going to share a story that is similar to theirs. If somebody just says, oh, you know, I'm looking to lose weight, I'll say, well, what would it mean for you if you achieve that with my help? Like, you know, how might your life be different? How might you feel? I'm looking to get that emotional side of the right brain to be like, bam, baby, this is it. This is how this would make me feel. If I lost 20 pounds, I'll tell you right now, I would feel so much more confident when I am walking around the shores of a beach in a bikini, feeling confident, feeling awesome about myself, you know, and I wouldn't have a care in the world. I'd actually be taking my t-shirt off when I'm standing on that beach. That is the kind of emotional reaction you want. You want somebody's emotions to just come out when you talk to them about anything related to this. Because when you do do that, when you get involved with their emotional side, you're going to hit on that chord where it's the decision. They, they have that emotional trigger, and then the decision comes. Whereas you could rattle off like, oh, you know, Shakeology has moringa, it has goji berries, chia seeds, pomegranate, blueberries, acai. 
you're going to rattle all of that stuff off to somebody and they're, and they're going to be like, they're not going to care. So you need it to get on the emotional level. And so that's why the scripts are important. And that's why following them as closely as possible, but just personalizing it to the person that you're reaching out to is your best bet for success with this. So as you can see, you know, the questions are, um, why do you want to achieve that? Can you tell me more about that? Why is that important to you? How does that make you feel? So after you get all of their emotional connections to why they need to be doing this, why they need to be working with you, sure, yes, you are going to get no's. Trust me, I still do this and I get no's. But I still will get people that I did this with who are still coming to me months, years later because I planted a seed with them and it wasn't right for them at the time, but now it is right for them. So you're planting a seed with every single person that you talk to. And if you're going to be planting a seed, you might as well be planting a seed in the right way. So the closing of this script, this walks you through exactly how to close with somebody. So um, this is just kind of um, a play-by-play. -play. This is how I would do this if I was doing the 21-day fix. And here's a breakdown of how to switch it up so that, let's say you're talking to somebody now about uh, max 30 instead of the 21-day fix. You can go ahead and use this little section down here. And this little section right here is going to provide you with how to tailor customize it so that you are speaking to somebody about max 30 instead of the 21 day fix. And then this little part is the closing. So up here, you're going to say, you know, um, if I could help you to lose 15 pounds, feel more confident and develop a better relationship with your body as well as with food, would you be ready to get started? Who's going to say no to that? Chances are they're going to say, yes, what's the cost? So that's where you come into play with this. You're going to say, great. You can get the program, Meal Plan Tupperware, 30-Day Supply of Shakeology with my free personal help and complimentary support group for a one-time cost of, right now it's $142, which includes shipping. This is a sale price. Normally everything costs more than $200 for everything mentioned, so you're saving about $58. Does that sound reasonable for you? Then what is absolutely most important is this section right here. Here are some of my friends' results with this program. So you, at the same time, I send this post, or I send this all at once, whether I'm doing Facebook or a text message. So I'm going to lay it all on the line. Look, hey, this is the cost for this. And then what you're going to do is immediately you're going to send people's results that look comparable or have a comparable story to the person that you're talking to. So you're going to share either your own results even, you're going to share people from the team, you could share people that you've Google searched, but you are sharing with this person legitimate photos from somebody who has done the program that they're looking to do. Now after that, you're going to either hear, yeah, sign me up, I'm ready, or you're going to hear an objection. So this is going to talk you word, through, word for word into how to close on that person. And keep in mind, too, that you need to change out your coach ID. So definitely do that so you can get credit. But other than that, um, afterwards, yeah, you're, you might hear some objections. So this right here is going to explain exactly how to counteract any objections you're going to have. Some other important scripts to make note of is the ultimate coaching script. So this is a script for if you want to talk to somebody about the coaching opportunity. And this one person script, this is honestly, this is like hitting a home run. So if you're looking for a couple people to work with, if you are looking to hit your success club points for the month, then this ultimate script 
or ultimate posting script is what you need to absolutely do without a shadow of a doubt you post that you use the scripts you're gonna have somebody who ends up signing up um, and then another important script that I actually don't have in here is the hot market script I know that one of our girls Irene she used the hot market script today and she ended up getting a guy friend of hers who said, hell yeah, I'll help you out, I'll do it, and why not get me some Shakeology for my girlfriend as well? And so she ended up upselling them too to a challenge package just by using the hot market script. So I can't stress enough the power of using scripts, and I know through my own personal story with coaching, when I absolutely sucked at coaching itself, it was in part because I didn't use scripts. I mean, there was a lot of other reasons why I was really bad at coaching, but one of the biggest pieces to the puzzle was since I was not operating using scripts. And I kind of thought I was above scripts. I thought, oh, who's this person? Like, people are gonna think I, am, I sound too salesy. If you follow it the way you should, you actually come off as a professional. And that's what you want to do. If you are building a professional business instead of a hobby, you need to do what the professionals do. As I mentioned, you know, I kind of combined Eric Worre's script as well as Danny Johnson's script into a script that would work for our team best. And I pulled that script from Danny Johnson. Danny Johnson is a woman who had $2.03 to her name. She was homeless, she was broke. And she's been a million, millionaire over multiple times now. She's lost a million dollars. She's made a million dollars back. She's lost it. She's made it back. So if anybody should be able to create success and have something that is easily duplicatable, then it's Danny Johnson. So like I said, success leaves clues. If you want to have a professional business, Doing something like following the scripts day in and day out and just knowing that you're going to get, you're going to have people who are going to tell you no. I have people who tell me no all the time. But it's just a matter of dusting yourself off and understanding it's not right for them right now. And you know what? If it was right for everybody you talk to, there would not be time in this world for you to be able to help everybody that you want to help. So it happens when it's right for the people, and it doesn't necessarily happen always when it's right for you. So understand that you are given each hurdle for a reason, um, whether that's God testing you, whether that's God saying, hey, it's a good thing you're not working with this chick right now because she is a lot to handle. She'll come back around to you in a year when she's over whatever is going on in her life. You know, look at everything as a blessing because, yeah, you probably are having a lot of people tell you no right now, but it's no for an important reason that you might not be able to see right now. Hindsight is always twenty twenty. So that, I think, is the most important thing for me to share about using scripts. But what I really want to do is I want to open up the line for five minutes to kind of go over any kind of questions you guys might have over using scripts or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just unmute all of you, which is probably going to sound really bad and I might have to mute you all again. Um, so, all right, all right. So if anybody has any questions, what do I say? Like, oh, hey, to message you. Anybody have any questions at all? I do. All right, let's hear him. <laughs> okay, so my boyfriend's been really helpful and has given me a list of about 50 plus people to contact. But I don't want to be like, oh, hey, my boyfriend told me to message you. <laughs> like, do you have any suggestions? or Because some of them I do have a lot of mutual friends with, so I've been doing the Facebook said I should, uh, like, recommended that I add you. Would that be okay? And that's been working. But for the ones that only have, like, maybe him and another person, I can't really pull that one. So do you have any ideas? Good question. So if you only have a little bit of a connection to them, well, what is your, what's his relationship like with them? Are they pretty close or is it kind of all over the place? Are they, are you guys pretty close? 
<laughs> no. no, just people that he knows from either the gym or family friends or school. If you could get away with saying, hey, you know, my boyfriend gave me your information. He said that you were somebody that I should really be in touch with. He said, and then you want to talk them up. So if you know any positive traits about them, mm -hmm. elaborate on those. He said, you're really cool. You're really down to earth. And I'm just looking for more people to connect to. Okay. <laughs> so if you could do something like that, that, that would work. Yeah, or he could just be a coach. Yeah, that too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're looking for a couple of good men on this team, so. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, only if her boyfriend does. <laughs> <laughs> he is, he does. Put him on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Don't be shy. <laughs> Say hi. You gotta put your hat on and come over here. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I looking? Hi! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cute. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what I would do is I would just reach out to them and say, hey, you know, my boyfriend said that I should be in contact with you. He said X, Y, and Z about you. And I'm really looking to touch base with people who are like that. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. I have a question. Yeah, Emily. Okay. Um, you said to listen to a national wake-up call, Vito someone. What was the last name? Lafata. Um, How do you spell that? Let me make sure. I think it's L-A-F-A-T-A. -A -A. Okay. Awesome. That one sounded super interesting, so I definitely want to listen to that. Yes. He talks a lot about Thank the you. left brain, right brain. You're welcome. It's it's an awesome call. It's Love that. Yeah. Cool. cool. And it's, I think you'll find it in 2014, like the last couple of months. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the question. Yeah. Ah, Okay. Heather wanted to know if I'm going to be doing the Zoom chat for the Dirty 30 Extreme. That is something I've definitely been putting off, but it's still something, something I would like to do. Does anybody have a suggestion? If I were to do a live Zoom chat where I am doing a share screen of one of the 31 day, or 31 21 Day Fix Extreme workout where you guys could get your customers on board, they could do it. What time would be a good time for me to host that? I'm thinking probably a Saturday, and I just don't know what time of the day. Nine o'clock in the morning? Probably early mid morning, I would say. Early afternoon. Okay. Just my thought. Okay. Um, if you guys could maybe like vote or something on our Facebook group, kind of throw out some times, um, that would be awesome. That might be a good idea just because of different time zones and all that kind of stuff. Cause like nine o'clock in the morning for you would be like six o'clock in the morning for us here. So <laughs> right. I think it'd yeah. help so. Um, another thing is too, is, is if we have anybody who hit success club last month, um, you have access to Beachbody On Demand this month. So maybe I could, yeah, so maybe what we could do is, is I could host that one time, and then I could give you guys the link for signing into Zoom and everything, and maybe one of you guys who has Beachbody On Demand could host it at a different time. Stop. You stop. Yep, just an idea. Anybody else with any more questions? Um, when did you say the coaching at a glance was going to start? Um, Monday, the Monday. Yep. Monday the 16th, right? Yep. Perfect. Anyone else with any questions? We got some awesome ones. Okay. 
Nope. All right. Well, I thank you guys all so much for being on our call. I love you all. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for everything. Um, it's because of you that I've had this success. And I just want to see you guys all growing your teams so that you too can have this kind of success as well. I know that you guys are so deserving of it. And I'm just, I'm so impressed with everything that I see you guys do. I know that you guys have just completely taken this freaking team cup and you guys are just running with it. And that's awesome to see as well. I see so many leaders on this team. I just cannot wait to see what things look like for you guys four and a half years down the line. If you guys are on these calls now, if you are helping people, if you're reaching out to people, if you're doing everything that I wasn't doing when I first got started, what that says for what you can be four and a half years from now just blows my mind. You can just have so much awesomeness ahead of you. And I hope you guys truly believe and understand what is right around the corner for you guys. If you just continue to believe and continue to have this consistency. So thank you so much, every single one of you, for being on this call. Um, we're going to go ahead and clear out the call so that our Team Cup people, participants, can be on. So have a great night, guys. I love you. And uh, see you next week. Bye-bye. All right, let me see one thing real quick. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for being on. What I want to do tonight is I want to go over what your biggest success was from this past week, what your biggest hurdle has been and what I can do to help you guys with all of that. So let's see. Stephanie, since you're the first one on my screen, how about we hear from you? Okay, sure. <clears throat> um, I guess you guys know I had a little bit of a breakdown on, what was it, Wednesday? <laughs> um, so, that was probably very difficult for me. Um, so I, have, I haven't really been that motivated to do anything, and I feel really bad about it. Um, but this past weekend, I've been messaging people and stuff like that. So I'd say that um, we already kind of discussed a little bit. I'm trying to move people from Instagram to Facebook. So I got one person last night, so that was exciting. Um, and then I know you had mentioned, Kelly, about going on to Facebook and finding people that have mutual friends. So I wanted, was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about that because I guess that's my next step. And then kind of going from there. Okay. Um, let me go ahead and show you real quick. So first things first, We've all been there. I've had a lot of emotional breakdowns even before Beachbody. So it's not like Beachbody is something where, oh my God, I'm having a breakdown and this is exclusive to only Beachbody. Um, it's totally fine to have those breakdowns. And sometimes you have a breakdown right before you have something really freaking cool happen to you. So don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Let's see here. Okay, so what I'm talking about doing is, is let's just say, for instance, I'm going to look up April McDonald. And, of course, I'm not trying to take anybody from April because she's a member of our team. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to her friends list here. And I'm going to go to 
Okay, see, if you go to more right here, it'll say people you may know. So what I would do is, is I would go to somebody that I went to high school with, that I went to grade school with, any of those things. Ooh, I had him. Um, I would go to their Facebook. I would go to their people they may know, and I would do something like this. I would message Amanda. This is not what I'm actually doing. But um, normally what I would do is I would say, hey, Amanda, I see we have a lot of mutual friends in common thanks to Facebook recommending I add you as a friend. Would you mind if I did so? So I would say that to Amanda. Um, I might even look at Amanda's profile before I messaged her. And if she's into fitness and all that kind of stuff, I would say, I also see you're into fitness. I am too. Would you mind if I added you as a friend? So for a lot of people, doing something like this is a huge step outside of your comfort zone because, you know, you're putting yourself out there. Chances are this person may or may not really know you. Um, you know, this, this, you don't, I mean, there's so many doubts that kind of cross your mind when you go into this kind of territory. But the truth is, is if you do this, there's two outcomes. That person is either going to look at it and then not respond, or they're going to look at it and say, oh, yeah, sure, go ahead and friend me. I've never had somebody message me back and be like, who the hell are you, you creep? Get away from me. <laughs> Nobody ever comments like that. Nobody says, get it out of here, freak. You're just trying to catfish me. Like, it's totally, it's totally fine. Um, in fact, you know, like I'll go through my messages right now. Um, scoop -a -doop. All right. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Well, it's not letting me show, but I went through and I did this today. See, I messaged her. I messaged her at 637. Hey there, Lindsay. I see we have mutual friends in common. Thanks to Facebook recommending I add you as a friend. Would you mind if I did? Seen at 756, this chick isn't going to say yes. <laughs> so um, it's totally fine. This is another person I did this with. I said, hey there, Katie. I see we have a lot of mutual friends. Thanks to Facebook recommending I add you as a friend. Would you mind if I did so? She said, not at all. And then I saw that we happen to have a lot of friends in common who went to a mutual high school. So I said, did you happen to go to St. Ursula? So there I'm starting off the conversation. Let me show you another time that I did this. So Patrice, I was looking at Patrice's Facebook or I was looking at a mutual friend's Facebook and I saw Patrice pop up. Patrice is this freaking fit as a fiddle little Asian chick who's just absolutely beautiful. And I started messaging her and she hasn't become a coach underneath me. She's bought a couple of things, but I have a really incredible friendship with her. So the, you know, like anything could happen by reaching out to somebody like this. Um, and then come to find out, we both have the same birthday, too. So, I mean, it's so freaking crazy how this stuff works. Um, hold on. Let me show you. I want to show you the transgression of our... Okay. So, back in 2013, I messaged Patrice. I said, hey, Patrice, I saw you and I have a lot of mutual friends in common. Thanks to Facebook recommending you. Do you mind if I add you? She said, of course not. Please add me. I said, so thanks so much for the ad. You look absolutely phenomenal. How'd you get into competing? It's quite obvious that she was a competitor, so I started asking her about it. And then it kind of just flowed. It was organic. She said, thanks, Kelly. I'm taking a little bit of a break. I'm 34 years old. And last year I decided that I wanted to get in the best shape of my life, so I did it and got rewarded for it. Do you compete? So, you know, you're just, you're, you're letting this flow. If, for instance, you message somebody and it's like pulling teeth, you can't get each other to correspond, and you're not having a really awesome time with the conversation, just say, hey, you know, it was really awesome to meet you. 
don't be a stranger. You're not looking for, like, an out-of-the-ballpark, like, you know, I'm brain farting right now. It's been oh, such a long Monday. But, um, you know, you're not looking to just freaking have somebody sign up right off the bat by doing this. You're just looking to really create a bond, if you will. Sorry, I am brain farting and I am just blabbering. Um, so what else? What other kind of questions? Or I'm, I wasn't even asking questions. <laughs> wow. Okay, so Stephanie, does that kind of help you show? Yeah, it does. It does a lot. Thank you. Okay. Um, another thing that we can do too is, is all right. So there's a local restaurant called Shinology. It is a place that is newer. Um, and so what I did was I went to Shinology and I went to look at, all right, well, there are a lot of people commenting. So, so I would hover over people and I would see if we had a lot of mutual friends in common. If we had more than five mutual friends in common, I would message these people and I would say the same thing to them, except for I would add, hey, you know, I see that you're really into nutrition or you're into eating healthy. How did you get started with that? So there's multiple ways that you can find people through Facebook as well. Another thing I did was is I went to the reviews section and I went and I hovered over anybody who reviewed to see if we had a lot of friends in common. And look, Jess and I have 13 people in common, so you better believe I messaged her. So that's kind of how that works. Any other questions, Stephanie, or anything with Facebook I can help you with? No, that's good. Um, I'm working on my story now, so I guess in the next couple of days I'll be posting that up. I'm super nervous about it, but I'll do it anyways. <laughs> All right. Share it. That's the big game changer, putting your story out there. On that, so a few weeks ago when I decided to quit work, the office job, all of that stuff, I was like going through an insane emotional time. And I, it just triggered all these emotions and stuff that I had felt when I was going through my past like, addiction problem and stuff. And I mean, I've mentioned it like slightly in posts before, but nothing really like a smack in the face. But I, I felt like I was going through a smack in the face. So that was as real as it was coming out of my mouth. So I just shared it. And I felt so raw and so vulnerable and so scared that I had said that much stuff because it's just so real and like so personal. I ended up selling like two challenge packs because of it, because someone saw it that I had connected with at some point along the way. And she was just like, oh my God, it's so nice to see like, you know, someone in the fitness industry who's actually real, who's gone through something before. Yeah. Sign me up. And I was just like, wow, like that's amazing. So Stephanie, like if there's anything I could say, don't be nervous. Like just, just shine it out there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yours was a wonderful post by the way. So Thank you. I was honestly, I was like, I was scared even for like a couple days afterwards. I was like, I don't know how people are going to think of me or what they're going to say. Or like, have I offended some family members who didn't know this about me? Like I have no idea, but you know, it, it doesn't even matter. Mm -hmm. And see, because you were so relatable because you were so raw and you shared what's really going on in your life. People, they're going to take notice more of everything else that you post. They're going to be like, dude, totally. what are you going to say now? <laughs> like, like, I want to follow. I want to know what's going on in your life. But then, you know, you have the other people who are like, dude, I've been in those shoes. Like, but look yeah. at, they're, they're going to look though and they're going to be like, I've been in those shoes, but I'm not in those shoes now. So they're going to want to be in your shoes you know, like as you're progressing and continue to just better yourself through health and nutrition and wellness and everything. So it all works, you know, just being the real you is something that you can't take away. The more authentic you are, the more you put out all of your dirty laundry, you know, people, can't, people can't use that against you anymore, you know, after you do that. You know, I've, I've told everybody about my eating disorders. I've told people about how I used to smart Ritalins to lose weight. I mean, dude, like, 
putting that kind of stuff out there, yeah, it's nerve wracking. But I tell you what, a lot of people come out of the woodwork to let you know how inspired they are by it as well. Yeah, so true. Yeah, I, I chickened out and I posted something, but I only put it on Instagram. I didn't put it on Facebook. <laughs> So, but I have a post in my back office that I can post tonight. Oh, goody. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. See, you know, posting it on Instagram is taking the easy way out of it. Yeah. So, yeah, now you just got to post that to Facebook. Yeah, you can always go back in the option and hit share and then just hit Facebook and share again. <laughs> yeah. How do I do that? So just open your post and then hit the little the dots at the bottom. Uh -huh. And it'll say like edit, delete, or share. Okay. Then hit share. And then it'll like open up the same box where you typed in the text. Okay. And hit Facebook and then share it again. And you okay. can actually change it because like oftentimes I'll do that. Like I'll I'll do it separately so that I can erase the add me to Facebook part and oh. then and then share it again. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. 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 Awesome. All right. So Irene, what would you say is your biggest success and your biggest hurdle? Um, the biggest hurdle to start off with this week would definitely be um, just finishing my last two weeks. So I guess I only have one more week left at my office. It's been really, really emotionally trying, as you guys know, that I shared about with uh, my HR manager coming down on me and just like, oh God, I just, I still kind of can't get over it, but I'm trying to get over it. Um, yeah, so that was pretty emotional and, and I'm just trying to like manage my business at the same time. And then I got super sick with food poisoning this weekend. So <laughs> that put me behind, but today has been a great success because I decided to dedicate, you know, my, it's a holiday in BC for us today. So it's family day. I guess everyone else in Canada gets it next week. But anyways, so, um, yeah, so yeah. random that yours is this week. I know it's so weird. We're the only ones in the entire country that get it this week, but whatever. <laughs> and so anyways, I decided today was a good time to just get my posts out there and connect. And so of course I just went to the hot market script and I've just been plugging that out to people and it worked with my good friend, Scott and his girlfriend. And so, I mean, I know they're at a family dinner, so I'm just waiting for him to complete the forms. But um, yeah, so I'm just getting myself organized because as of Friday, I'm no longer at the office. So I'm working a new schedule, which will kind of go week to week at the Ooh. restaurant that I'm at. So it's good. It's really exciting. I feel like the more time I have on it, it's not even the more time or more effort that I need to put into it it's just kind of the more space that I'm giving myself mentally and just away from focusing on things I don't want to be doing it's like all of a sudden the inspiration to do more comes or the right people to converse with come up and like just all those opportunities just start lining up so I think it's kind of like the let go and let God sort of trusting aspect is kind of how my week has been playing out so it's it's nice how exciting is that, though? That, yeah, like, it's so exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's so awesome. I can only, I mean, all right, going to Danny Johnson, that's going to help so right. much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> going to Danny Johnson, that's going to set you up for a lot of success with this. So Yeah. I'm so excited. I just I can't be, uh, I can't wait to be finished at, at that office. Like I just can't like, you know, it's, it's 40 hours a week doing something you don't absolutely love from the bottom of your heart to do. Like I just, I mean, that's how as humans we're conditioned, you know, like you just get a good job, it pays you the money that you need to be paid and you just do it. But it's like, how <laughs> it's so much time doing something you don't love. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. So anyways, only four more days. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so what is your goal for this week? Um, I would like to sign up three coaches. Um, so I kind of have people that I've been conversing with about it. So I feel like the three of them could be signed up by the end of this week. Um, yeah, so that's, that's my main goal. So hopefully I can, I can tackle that. Okay, awesome. You can totally make that happen. Yeah. Know it. I know. <laughs> know it. 
And Stephanie, I don't think I asked you, but what is your goal for this week? I would like to get to Success Club 5 because I'm at zero right now and I'm the loser of the group at the moment. So no, I'm at zero still too, technically I'm at zero. Not zero too. <laughs> Okay. So when I saw that we're we're in the top 100 of the groups, which is totally awesome, Woo! but we need, to, we need to get up there. We want to be number one, so I'm going to be working hard. You can do this. Yeah, we got it. Yep. Put that story out there. You're going to change some lives with that. You're going to get some people on board. Yeah, let's do this. Let's make this happen. All right, sounds good. All right. Ariana, how about you? Hey, how's it going? Good, how about you? Good, did you have a good birthday? Yes, I did. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Um, that Todd looked like a lot of fun. I have to see if they have those around here. Yeah. Maybe in Brazil or something, I don't know. Yeah, dude, it was worth it. Um, this week was really interesting for me because I started to... Oh, hi, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> I started to train my replacement at my job. So I'm also leaving my job, but going to another country um, on March 1st. And so I just got really overwhelmed with that. I mean, I, in my head, I just, I don't think I really knew what it meant to train someone. And I think for me, it was funny because she had to sit next to me and like having her in my personal space, like drained all my energy. It was literally like somebody was just like, draining it moment by moment and so I was so I've never been that exhausted in my life because she's like oh what do you do this and how do you do this and I'm telling her three times she's not listening and I'm like oh my god and so and then I felt like I couldn't like you know I always kind of have Facebook up like all day long and I you know when I have a moment or two I always check it but she's watching me so I'm like oh I can't do Facebook right now like what's going on so anywho um I just got totally derailed completely yeah, it was it was a failure of a week. I totally made some choices that I'm taking my accountability for. But I think a success for me was that I still did my personal development every day. I like really take pride in doing that. I've been working at the compound effect. Um, I found it on SoundCloud and I can listen to it like in um, they have like each chapter broken down into like five minutes, four minutes, three minutes. So it's like I can just listen to those increments at my own pace. So every morning in the car. Every night on my way home, it's like I'm still getting that positive influence pumping in my brain, even if I'm just failing at business. Um, and the other thing is, I think I, um, for me, um, the thing that I'm still trying to toy with is is time management. So I took a look at the um, fifty, the thirty and fifty six success club points video that you posted, and um, a couple of things that I talked about were just people who have limited time they just set aside the time and schedule it throughout their day um, I definitely think that I could wake up early that's probably going to be my best bet um, because I find that at night sometimes I can get really really distracted so it's been my plan to do it in the evenings like come home work out eat and then do do beach body but I'm finding that sometimes I just get really jammed and get really distracted with that so um, I think for me I'm gonna have to be more of an early morning person with that and just kind of set aside the time to wake up um, a success, two successes that I had, I went to my alma mater, um, Susquehanna University of Pennsylvania on Saturday, and I actually had three or four people come up to me and say, oh my gosh, you're doing this fitness thing, like what's this health thing that you're doing now, you look so great, blah, 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 so that was really good, because like seeds are being planted, and I, like I've never even talked to these people, um, and so it was really great to kind of talk about that and bring that up, um, and have people show interest, so my plan is to you know, get back in contact with those people and say, hey, like, you know, you brought this up to my attention. I'm so happy that you noticed, you know, let me tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing. Um, and then I finally went through all of my 21 day fix yeses and maybes today and started 11 new conversations at lunch. And I'm so proud of myself because I've been really procrastinating with that. And so now I'm going to get back to those once we get off this call. So those are my failures and successes. Good for you, dude. I mean, Hey, you know, we all have times where we stumble or we, not, yeah, we might not be able to be consistent, but to be able to own up to it, that's huge. And as long as you can own up to it and then move on and not be held back by it, because we all can seem to get like pummeled and just be hitting like, you know, where, where we're not growing, but then we seem to focus on it. 
you know, and when you focus on it and you think, man, I didn't, that first week really screwed me over and I didn't do as much as I wanted to do. When you continue to let yourself be beat up by that, that doesn't get you anywhere. So it's really cool to see that you're not letting that define you. You're not letting that define our team cup opportunity to work together. You're just going to move on and that's all you can do. Yeah. And look at all those awesome seeds you planted too. That's awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, and I did get a yes for a challenge pack, but I have we have to coordinate when she's gonna buy because okay. she has to be paid. So that was good. And I totally forgot to send the the um, transformation picks, and I keep forgetting that. So I have to make sure I like just add that right into my script because I was on mobile and I wasn't even thinking about it. And she just came saying, yes, yes, yes. And I was like, okay, this is great. And then I feel like I needed that one more, like, oh, by the way, like you say you want to be toned and have those abs, like look at my friend X, Y, Z. I think that would have been really key for her to figure it out right then and there. Yep. So. Yep. Just something to do in the future. Yeah. Learning opportunity. Well, good job. And what did you say your, I'm sorry, what was your goal for this week? My goal for this week, so I wrote in the WhatsApp that I want to get Success Club 10 because I want to make up from the five that I missed Sunday and then add five more. So that's my big goal this week. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Kenzie. Hey, can you hear me? I hey. can. Okay, sorry you can't see me, but I'm on my tablet this week, and when I turned the camera on, it was zoomed in so far that you could see the dirt in my pores, so <laughs> I decided to turn it off <laughs> to um, prevent y'all from, you know, being all up in my face. <laughs> um, but I think that um, something I struggled with this week, I also kind of had some issues going on at my job at school, and I kind of talked about it a little bit in the WhatsApp conversation. Um, I'm struggling with some parent and student issues at my job, which really stressed me out um, this week. So towards the end of the week, I kind of fell off Thursday, Friday-ish a little bit because I was dealing with a lot of that and really emotional and upset. But um, it's kind of what we talked about, you know, getting some sleep, waking up, you know, hitting that workout. And I actually, I know some of you saw that I went to the beach this weekend. So that helped a lot. <laughs> that is like my happy place. <laughs> Good for you. Um, but um, something I'm also struggling with is I'm still just kind of struggling with um, getting different angles um, with posting about um, different groups like the 21 day fix and things and like so I feel like I take the same angle all the time. So I want to be more marketable. I want to be more appealing to more people. So that's something that I'm kind of kind of working through. Uh, to change it up a little bit, you know, I've taken the beach angle, I've taken the this is me angle, like my personal, um, so I'm just kind of trying to feel, put out some feelers and trying to see what, um, how else I could put that out there, I guess. Okay. Um, and then successes, um, I've, I've been really successful with going through that extreme event that you posted and going through my maybes. And um, reaching out to them this week, and I've actually signed two of those maybes on. Woo! Uh, and I'm still working through them, um, but it's it's been really really positive. So that's something that I've I've been really happy about. Damn girl, good for you. And as the team call was going on, I had another person um, sign on. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow, I should be at Success Club Twelve. <laughs> that's awesome. Good for um, you. But with that, I had a question because she said that she had ordered, she had done the Shakeology before, so she was signed up under another coach. And I've, I've had that issue before, which is fine. I can take care of that. Um, she's a, someone I have a connection with I've known for a while. And, um, you know, she's kind of lost contact with that other person. It was just a try it out and see kind of thing. So they never really, you know what I mean, like formed that bond. Um, so I actually got an email that she must have signed up with a new account, like created a different account. Now, is that going to, is it going to go through right? Or am I still going to have to call coach relations? Do you think? Um, if you check out your previous office view, 
Uh huh. If you see that there's an invoice for her, whether it's zero or not right now, it still might be a zero because it still might be too early to see for sure. Okay. But if you can look in your previous office view and you see that there's a zero invoice for her, then it worked and you got okay. it. Yeah. Okay. So if you don't see any invoice for her whatsoever, then you're going to want to get her order number and her email to contact. Coach okay. Um, I have another one who, um, who I have a zero for, and that will update. That was a couple days ago, though, but I did get an email and said that it wouldn't update until after the cycle bonus. Okay. So I don't and know. I would, um, I would just, maybe with that one, I might contact Beachbody to see for sure. Okay. Just, just for shits and giggles. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. And then for my goal uh, for this week, I would say that my goal would be to get um, the two people that I sent the um, coaching webinar to. Um, I want to get them on the phone this week and talk to them. Okay. Which I've been kind of putting off, which is another one of my kind of failures this week, but I'm going to get on it this week. <laughs> it's not a failure. It's a hurdle that will be. Okay. Open. Hurdle. It's a hurdle. <laughs> it's a hurdle. Um. And so with that being said real quick, so you sent them the coaching presentation. Did yes. you talk to them on the phone before sending it to them? I did not. Actually, the one girl, they were two that I invited to the live one that you that you did, and both of them were busy. Um, so uh, the one girl actually, sorry. <laughs> that was cute. Um, the one girl actually approached me the next day and said, Hey, do you have that recording? Can I check it out? I'm leaving right now, but you know, that kind of thing. And like I said, with the way things have been, I've been really slacking and kind of meeting back up with her on it. And then kind of the same thing with the other one. So, um, I am going to actually, um, contact them either tonight or in the next couple of days or tomorrow actually, and see if we can't schedule a time to have a phone conversation see okay. what they thought and any questions they had and that kind of thing. Okay. My only recommendation is, is that the next time that that happens, before you send them the presentation, say, all right, I'm super busy. I want to be sure that I have time set aside for me to reach back out to you to see if this was a go for you or not. And then toss to them a couple of times, you know, would 5 p.m. tomorrow work or would 2 p.m. on Wednesday work for you? Okay. But other than that, though, that's awesome. So what I want to see then, guys, is I would love to see all of us at the very least at Success Club 5. At the very, very least, the Success Club 5 by the end of this week. And then, hell, if you hit Success Club 5, you better believe that you can hit Success Club 10. So, <laughs> how rude, Ariana. <laughs> That's right in front of you. <laughs> Oh, no. That was cute. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's make this happen. We deserve to be on the trip. We deserve that recognition. You guys are working your butts off. You're going to continue to work your butts off. You're going to work your butts off way more this week than you did last week. So let's make sure that this is a phenomenal experience. Success Club 5 at the very least for this week, Success Club 10 at the very most. We can make that happen. I don't want to take up too much more of your guys' time, unless any of you do. Any of you have any questions, anything at all? Well, one thing I was going to say for Kenzie, um, we could talk about this more in detail since you're my accountability partner. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Um, you said you're having a hard time figuring out different ways to post. Something in the call that Kelly posted on the Too Legit group, I mean, yeah, the video talks about asking yourself what you're good at. Like, for instance, the example that they gave is there was a girl, she says, well, I don't know what I'm good at, but I really like to sing. And so she found a way to sing about the opportunity, for example. So maybe um, 
so maybe you're just like overthinking it a little bit and just kind of figure out, okay, what am I good at? Like maybe I'm really good at poetry, for example. And then maybe you put like some kind of a poem together, you know, just like another way to kind of express who you are and still kind of subtly post about it. Does that kind of make sense? It does. It makes a lot of sense. And I'm actually planning on checking that out tomorrow during my planning period. So that'll, that'll be really good. Awesome. So, okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I do tend to overthink things too. So. <laughs> yep. And just to add on to that, that was an awesome suggestion. And I also recommend that, you know, you had mentioned Kenzie that you're looking to try to, you know, maybe post towards a lot of people or something to that extent. Um, but what I would do is, is I would make sure that every post that you're making is speaking to one person. Like you want that one person in mind, that, that target market, if you will. So envision your best friend is working with you in this business. And imagine your best friend might not be in the fitness, but let's just say your best friend to a T, she's into fitness, she's into all of the stuff that you're into. Every time that you post about the coaching opportunity, about a challenge package, anything that you're trying to post content-wise, you want to speak to that girl. You want to speak to your best friend. Because every time that you're going to do that, you're going to attract those people that you're trying to speak to, that you're trying to help. And I tell you what, your team would be a lot better off if they had a bunch of Kenzie's on it than if they had a bunch of Kelly Hanners on it. Because, you know, I attracted to you to me for a reason, but then yet again, though, you and I aren't completely alike. So it'd be cool if you attracted more Kenzie's onto your team instead of a bunch of Kelly's and a bunch of April's and all of them. You know, the more people that you have on your team that are more like-minded and who get you, the better your team is going to be, the stronger it's going to be. If you look at a team called the Bombshell Dynasty, which is by Lindsay Matway, all of those freaking people look like cookie cutter images of the previous person. You know, they look like freaking, they look like a bunch of Barbies, you know, identical to one another. So that's what you're looking to do. You're looking for a team of clones, if you will. Because the more people you get on your team who are identical to you in almost every way, shape, and form, the better your team is going to be, hands down. Sounds good. All right. So anybody else, questions, comments, help, suggestions? All right, cool, guys. So have a wonderful evening. Success Club 5, let's do it. Um, you guys need me. I'm really loving this WhatsApp app or what, what is it? What is it? WhatsApp? I feel what, like what, what's that? it's like, what's up, but it's like, what's that? Okay. So what's that? Okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm loving it. WhatsApp app. So let's continue to use that. Let's keep in touch that way. Um, if you guys need me, you know how to get a hold of me. I think you all are doing freaking awesome. And I'm just excited to see what's going to happen the rest of this month with you all. Awesome. Have a good night, guys. I love you. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye. Good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.